Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're visiting Polpero, which is a lovely little fishing pool on a rocky coastline near Lou in Cornwall, with narrow cobbled alleys, houses perched on slopes and a pretty harbour. Polpero has become an extremely popular family holiday destination. So join me as we take a look around uh, Polpero and all the sights and sounds that it's got to offer. The village itself dates back to the 13th century and for many years the prosperity of the village was founded on pilchard fishing. When pilchard fishing waned, smuggling became perhaps the major source of Polpero's riches. Now the village relies on tourism, with visitors drawn to its tightly packed lanes and idyllic fishermen cottages that line the picturesque harbour. Most of the buildings near the harbour are untouched by time, giving Polpero's quaint old world feel. That sense of old world charms is emphasised by the fact that visitors are not allowed to drive the cars into the village. There is a car park at Crumple Horn and from there visitors must walk half a mile through the village to reach the harbour site. By the harbour site there is a heritage museum of fishing and smuggling, tracing the history of Palpero and its connection to the smuggling trade. One well-known smuggler was Willie Wilcox, who according to legend was lost in the bewildering network of caves that wind through the cliffs. The origin of the village's name seemed lost in time. It may have been for St. Piran or for the nearby stream. The first written record comes from 1303, by which time Polpero was firmly established as a fishing community. One of many famous interesting buildings in the village is a 19th century cottage uh, known as the Shell House, which is much photographed, shells covering the house were collected from around the world by Mrs. S. Pucky, a retired sailor who began the shell decorating in 1937. Today the harbour is still a bustling place with its fishing boats continuing to ply their trades. Tiny narrow winding streets, alleyways leads to the harbour, some barely 1.5 metres wide. I think you can see, as you can see, there's, um, there's a variety of little uh, shops and cottages as we walk down uh, towards the harbour. Um, you can see there's a really old pub, which I'm just showing you now, um, with some old windows and like gargoyles on the wall. Um, interesting little pub, nevertheless. Um, I say if we walk down a bit further, we'll see some uh, really small cottages. Uh, the doors are probably below five foot in height um, but again very picturesque beautiful little cottages um, and there's Rowley's fun shop and uh, a little bakery next door um, which uh, later on we we pop into a cream tea and a, a pot of tea uh, very nice well worth uh, taking a look if you've got the time and personally uh, small little shops still decorating Christmas decorations very sweet uh, so we uh, go around to the right here some of the shops aren't open this time of year it's December uh, 26th I believe so a couple of shops are closed um, there's an old well total old fashioned sweet shop you can see the uh, sweets in the window and a particularly nice uh, little pub will come on to uh, in a minute 
again extremely old probably 13th century um, as you can see from the uh, the windows and the facade I'll pan around in a minute and have a look you just see there on the left hand side uh, we stand back a little bit and see the bay window white walls very interesting uh, old pub which would have been nice to go and have a look around but it was closed at the time of visit Any of you notice in a minute, we're just going to come up to a, a little house there with uh, a stream running through. Uh, well, runs right through the village actually from uh, the top down to the sea. Um, it's particularly a uh, sweet little cottage here. We look at it every time we come down. Um, just a little corner section you see there. Um, probably a little one bedroom, something like that. But he always does something interesting to the outside of the property. Um, yeah, as you can see there, pumpkins, look at those way else sit in that front piece of garden um, again it's a really beautiful little village in the stream um, I say it just runs right the way through um, from the top of the car park right down to sea basically um, we'll just move along now and we'll uh, bear to the left a little Cornish shop and street as we walk down uh, this part of the village we'll probably pan over in a minute and see some little cottages again the doorways are, are no more than four and a half five feet high so obviously very small back in the day um, nice Cornish pastry shop on the right hand side there which was closed uh, and walk down to a uh, a shop where you can buy some really nice uh, pictures or paintings um, we've had a few of those over the years that we bought from there really charming lovely little shop again please uh, Please visit if you ever come to Polpera. And a little gift shop there. Uh, again, it was uh, wasn't open when we were there. Unfortunately, um, we were a day too early. Tina saw his little uh, Jack in the Box in the window, um, which she really liked. I'm sure she'd have bought it uh, if the shop was open. see a few interesting little cottages just to be paying up the road again um, there's quite a few of these you can actually uh, hire during the uh, during the season um, not too expensive and I say a lovely place to to base uh, this is a shop we were talking about a little while ago where you can buy some nice Cornish pictures which they'll frame for you um, Paul Pero and, and a lot of other uh, small Cornish villages um, that you'll see in there as I say, they'll frame them for you um, if you if you like particular scenery um, that's hanging up there. And you see, walking down towards the harbour now, um, and just on the right hand side, as uh, you go around the harbour, there's a couple of nice little pubs which we'll come to in a bit. But as you say, you can see the harbour opening up now as we walk towards it. Yeah, there we go, Chip Ahoy fish and chip shop which was closed again never mind but uh, another little quaint shop next door there for just little knickknacks and a nice Christmas scene still shown in the window which is quite sweet again it was closed unfortunately so we didn't get into have a, a look around there it said open on the door but it was closed um, and a china shop there to the right hand side and you can see you can see the uh, arbor now that opens up I've got uh, sidetracked by the pottery in the window, so uh, apologies for that one. And a small silver seas jewellery, again, really nice little shop. Uh, well worth looking around if you're uh, in the harbour itself. If you pan around to the left there, you just see the pub coming into view on the left hand side. I'd say a quaint little pub, uh, open fire real old fashioned, probably about 1300s again, uh, probably one of the first pubs in the village around the harbour, uh, 
lovely little place and just down the left you see there's a little cottage just sits on its own which uh, was up for sale a couple of years ago actually so uh, I assume it was bought by somebody um, just taking a walk along now past the pub on the right hand side um, leads you up to the top of the harbour again a little rental cottage there um, if interested um, and a little bit further up as we walk now there's another pub uh, on the right hand side there which we'll uh, take a little look at in a minute as we go up through again these are just rental costumes etc that you can see in view at the moment and we'll take a look around um, to the harbour and all the costumes that run up the uh, hillside there as you can see really pretty little harbour and I say most of those are uh, uh, holiday costumes you can rent so uh, a really interesting place to to be to rent I suppose the only downside would be getting your uh, luggage I suppose you just have to park up the top of the village and uh, come down I have seen a little bus that uh, shuttles up and down during the uh, in season months so I suppose that's the way to do it that's the, this is the other little pub I spoke to you about it's, it's a strange little place um, little funny things in the window skeletons etc again probably really old in um, 1300s um, really interesting place and uh, as you come up the side here it just leads you up onto the uh, wall which overlooks the the sea there you can see the sea and the port itself um, again interesting little place to come and visit and pan around there you can see the harbour itself beautiful place as you can see on the harbour side there and uh, there's Tina pointing to, a, to an entrance to a cave there that she wishes I had uh, four quints sometimes <laughs> so uh, yeah it was uh, quite a rough day um, I said December the 26th when I uh, earlier on actually in the video it's not it's I think it's around uh, December the 28th actually uh, we visited Polpero um, as you see like, a, a, a full shot I suppose of the harbour uh, and the fishing boats etc there um, there's Tina again doing her best to point out uh, the hole that she wish I was uh, was in <laughs> um, let's say quite a a windy day but uh, really nice I mean you can only but imagine what it's like in the uh, the spring and summer months it's really gorgeous and uh, definitely uh, a, a lovely half a day to, to spend around the pool and you've got a lot more little cafes etc that open up in the summer months um, so you can just sit have coffee and, and, and just watch the boats coming in and out and uh, talk to the locals As you can see in a minute, we're just taking our walk back out uh, of the village and come across this beautiful little cottage with the black door you can see there. Again, no more than five foot high. Um, had a beautiful little porchway there and a, a Christmas tree. Um, really, really lovely. Um, I say this is walking out of the village back up towards the car park. Um, again, another little cottage there on the left hand side that uh, you can hire out in the, uh, the spring and summer months. Not a lot of people around this time of year, but um, which, which does make it nice. I mean, the shops do open. Um, I remember, this is Christmas week, so it was a little bit on and off um, when they were opening or not. But um, yeah, we got to sort of look around, um, look at this beautiful little cottage. Um, absolutely gorgeous, um, particularly nice. One I'd love to own personally, but um, yeah, it's beautiful. Um, you walk up there, you can walk up to the hillside there. That's where all the other cottages are, overlooking the harbour. Uh, and we pan around to the left there. Uh, Tina went and looked at the uh, the agent's window. So there's anything worth buying in the village itself, or we could afford, um, but quite expensive, um, as you would think. I'm walking out uh, out of the village now um, towards the coffee shop we mentioned and went past earlier. Oh, this particularly uh, mystical moon was a which a really nice little shop and. Uh, all kind of mystical things, fairies, etc., uh, ornaments. Um, but again, it was closed, unfortunately. It's, uh, it wasn't there last year we came down, um, so it's definitely worth coming back and have a look around. Um, yeah, so definitely worth a visit if you're down towards the harbour. 
There you go. So, okay, carry on walking. Um, uh, village past small little post office. So you make particular note of the uh, the lovely shops that are now open. Um, beautiful facades. And just say on the left hand side there as we walk up through the village, got a small chapel on the left. And that's the uh, the old pub we saw on the way in with the gargoyles on the wall um, and the, the the old windows. As you see in a minute on the right hand side, a little sweet shop of Polpero um, with a little polar bear in the window um, with a small Christmas scene. Really sweet little shop. And just here was making her uh, way to a small model village, which uh, I was hoping would be open, but it, unfortunately it wasn't. So uh, again, maybe next time we're uh, we're back here, we'll come and have a look. I think in conclusion, I'd definitely recommend spending half a day in Palpera and Cornwall. It really is a beautiful place, uh, whether it's winter, whether it's spring or summer. Um, it's definitely a place worth coming. Again, thank you for uh, watching my channel and joining me as we looked around Polpero. Please join me again and see you next time. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.